bring you another Hyundai League fixture preview for the fixtures of week 20. And let's get into things. The first game of the weekend that sees my team Melbourne Victory take on an inner form Adelaide United. Now, Melbourne Victory suffered a defeat thanks to a robbery last weekend. And we will start our Asian Champions League journey very shortly. Now, Melbourne Victory welcome Macaroonis, Ingham and Deng to the first team squad. While Costa Barbarusis is unavailable due to suspension. Now, I don't think Barbarusis is too concerned about the suspension considering the recent press news. So news states that Costa Barbarusis will be leaving Melbourne Victory at the end of the season. He has apparently signed a deal with Wellington Phoenix where he will be making triple what he makes now on an apparent $750,000 a year as well as being their marquee player. So that's huge news for Wellington Phoenix and I don't think Barbarusis really cares about what happens with the victory anymore. Now, Adelaide United welcome Elrich and Tongi back to the first team squad while they have no apparent outs. Now, Melbourne Victory are without Barbarusis, but we do welcome back the likes of Macaroonis and Deng to the first team squad, while Adelaide United should be fielding a full strength squad. Adelaide United are in form. The pressure's on for them to make a club record. Will they do it? I don't think so, because I think Melbourne Victory are going to win with the home advantage. I think it's going to be a 2-1 win for Melbourne Victory. Now, the second game of the weekend sees Newcastle Jets take on Wellington Phoenix. Newcastle are slowly improving, while Wellington Phoenix bagged five goals against Western Sydney Wanderers last weekend. Now, Newcastle Jets welcome Watson, Lundy, Crowley and Kitto to the first team squad, while Kantorovsky and Poliak are unavailable for the fixture. And on the other hand, Wellington Phoenix welcome McGarry and none other than Ben Sigmund to the first team squad, while Donascus and Stevens have been omitted from the squad. Wellington will have gained some confidence last weekend and will want to grab another win this weekend because they are still in the chance for a uh, top six place. Although they're quite a while behind, they still do technically have a chance. But Newcastle Jets, they don't want to finish on the bottom. They're not on the bottom at the moment, but if Central Coast can bag a couple wins, Newcastle will be down there. So, Wellington Phoenix, the guys in form, Blake Powell will be playing, I bet you that. And I reckon Wellington Phoenix is going to win this one 2-0. The third game of the weekend sees Sydney FC take on Western Sydney Wanderers in a sold-out Sydney derby. Both teams will want to win this weekend and claim the city's bragging rights. And they'll both want to improve on their games from last weekend. Sydney FC welcome Matt Simon and Philippe Holosko to the first team squad while they have no apparent outs. And Western Sydney Wanderers welcome Hamill, Dimas, Mabratu and Andreu to the first team squad while they will be without Aspropotamatus and Yuli for the fixture. Now, it's a tough game for both sides. It is the derby. Western Sydney need a win. Sydney need a win. I don't think either are going to though because I think this result is going to be a one or draw. The fourth game of the weekend sees an informed Perth Glory take on another team that's in form and that's Brisbane Raw. Perth Glory have been in great form the last few weeks while Brisbane Raw have picked up a point gap at the top of the table. They're doing quite well there. Now Perth Glory welcome Julbich and Oxford to the first team squad while they have no apparent outs and Brisbane Raw welcome Stefanuto and Brady to the first team squad while they have no apparent outs. So both teams should be fielding full strength teams so we'll have to see what happens there but both teams are in good form Jamie McLaren is in form I think he's going to bag a goal this fixture but Perth Glory do know how to score goals now and I can see them scoring a couple because I can see this result ending in a 2 or a draw and news about Perth Glory I could be going to a game in the next couple of weeks I'll try and blog it so keep an eye out for that and the final game of the weekend is none other than Melbourne City who take on Central Coast Mariners. Now, Central Coast season is done. They are done, no coming back. And Melbourne City need a win to cement their place in the top six. Now, Adelaide United jumped up a huge amount last weekend, which did push Melbourne City further down the chopping block. You know, Sydney FC, if they pick up a win, they could be in trouble. Uh, and also, if Perth Glory win, Sydney FC could be in some real 
problems. But Melbourne City, obviously, they're in the borderline. They're in fifth. Very, very crucial they pick up a win this weekend. So, Melbourne City welcome Trefiro, Malling, Kuzminovsky, and Egan to the first team squad. While Navio and Casares are unavailable for the first team squad. While Central Coast welcome Ascroft, Uzcock, Berry, and Fletcher to the first team squad. While Stella and McGing are unavailable for the fixture. Now, Central Coast, obviously, season's done. Although they have been inspiring over the last few weeks. And Lewis Garcia has taught the boys a lot. If you do look at the Melbourne City squad, though, very, very good squad. Bruno Fornaroli, fantastic striker, the man in form. And you do also have to look, though, Navio and Casares, two keys to the cogs of Melbourne City are out. Will that affect their game? I don't think so. Aaron Moy's playing, Fornaroli's playing, and that is all they need. So, Melbourne City, you're going to take this result, and it's going to be a 2-1 win. But they are my predictions for the fixtures of week 20. If you agree, if you disagree, don't forget to comment down below and tell me what you think. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to see more Hyundai A-League content. And hopefully I catch you guys on another video.